Hi, welcome to another episode of Wired for Wealth, guiding you to lasting financial freedom and peace of mind. I'm John McGregor, your antidote to your financial struggles. My goal for you is to help you to think better so you can do better, so you can feel better about your financial situation. All right, folks, got an interesting uh, concept I want to talk to you about, about financial freedom and, and, and taking that leap of faith and, and going for it and, and making things happen in your life. And I'm here in Aspen, Colorado, one of my favorite places of all time. And if you ever have an opportunity to come to Aspen, jump at it, whether it's in the winter for the snow or in the summer for activities outside, it is a magical magical place. I'm here for the um, annual Rugger Fest tournament. It's a big rugby tournament that's been going on for over 50 years now. And uh, it's just a magical place uh, to come out and see the guys and uh, play some rugby and uh, just have a great time. And um, this is the first time that my wife has seen rugby alive. And um, and having the opportunity to step on the field and play with the Olympic Club out of San Francisco, just a great, great group of guys, just honored to play with them. Um, trying to explain to her the difference between rugby, not just the sport itself, but the psychology of the sport and um, versus other sports. And I played American football for many years, and I will say there's nothing like the sport of rugby um, for many reasons. Um, not only the physicality of the sport and the camaraderie um, you have off the field, but there's something magical about stepping on that field and looking across and seeing your opponents and all you have are your cleats, your mouthpiece and the jersey and your mates behind you to support you. Um, and you're going to battle. I mean, that's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You are putting your body on the line and you are going to battle. And you don't know what's gonna happen afterwards, whether you're gonna break something, whether, you, whether you're gonna be carried off the field. Um, so whether it's win or lose, it is a spectacular feeling to step on and off that field after the game, um, knowing that you put your body on the line. And, and I was explaining that to Renee and she said, just brilliantly as she is, um, she said, John, you know, without danger, without danger in life, there's no glory. And wow, I mean, that just hit me between the eyes because I think about so many things in our life that, um, and so many people that um, are successful, that have done well, um, particularly here in Aspen. I mean, this is a very wealthy place. And rugby attracts a very successful individual. You find a lot of very successful entrepreneurs and, and executives and lawyers and, and even doctors that have played the sport of rugby and then continue to do. And so there's a lot of wealth in this game. And I think it's because we have this risk mindset, this danger mindset that we're willing to put it on the line, whether it's on the field or in our professional lives. And I think that's, um, something that I wanted to convey to you today is um, getting out of the comfort zone and going into the danger and taking a little risk in your life. Because if you don't, um, you're going to continue to stay where you are. And I don't mean you need to put your body on the line on a rugby field. That's not what I'm trying to convey here. Risk could be, or danger could be writing that book. It could be writing that blog. It could be uh, coaching somebody. It could be, you know, getting in the gym. Um, and you'll, you'll be amazed how that could trickle down in, in your entire life. Getting on stage and speaking, going to Toastmasters, joining Toastmasters and learning how to speak. Um, all those starting your own business, um, whether, whatever that is, taking that risk to get out of the rat race that you're stuck on, and I know you're stuck on and you're struggling and you're afraid to take that leap. But I will tell you, as my wife brilliantly coined the phrase, without danger, there is no glory. And I want you to remember that term. Without danger, there is no glory. And you could substitute danger for risk, that's fine. Um, but I will tell you, um, and I, you know, I look at my own life and walking away from significant amount of income, a paycheck, um, and a nice expense account, and all the glories of, of being an employee, an executive, and, and, and making a lot of money, and I walked completely away from that to pursue what I really wanted to do in life, um, which is transform the financial lives of the world. Um, and, and now after, you know, seven years of grinding it out, you know, we're now really starting to see the momentum build, um, where there's my book speaking around the world, um, and now my online program that we've launched and so many other things that are coming. It was all because I decided to take that risk and enter the danger zone, put my body, put my mind, put my reputation, put my ego, um, all at risk and, and, and 
and go for it. And that's what it's going to have to take. It's not going to happen by buying a, a set of DVDs. It's not going to happen automatically by going to a, a transformational event. Those all help. But what you're going to have to do is step out of the comfort zone that you're in and step into the danger zone to take risk. And I look at all the successful people that I've known and that I've met with this weekend. Um, as I said, there's a lot of wealth here. You know, some certainly inherited their money, of course, but a majority of them have not. A majority of, of them stepped out and went out and just went for it and um, put it all on the line. And now, now they're reaping the benefits. They're traveling to Aspen and uh, enjoying their lives. And I talked to Robert Kiyosaki a lot about this. Um, you know, he was a helicopter pilot in Vietnam. I mean, he talks about the, the thrill and the, uh, the adrenaline of that. And he was also a rugby player. And, and, um, and then, of course, what he did, um, writing his book and the games and, and what they've created with the Rich Dad organization, that was all because they took the risk. And now, of course, as you well know, is reaping the rewards of all the hard work and the risk and the danger that they put themselves in. So I don't want to belabor this point, but I, I just wanted to share that thought and that, uh, that quote that my beautiful and brilliant wife came up with. And, um, and I want you to think about that as you think about your life and where you're at relative to where you are. Um, you're not going to find financial freedom on social media um, or in, uh, in a podcast. Um, you're going to find financial freedom when you finally decide to get out of the, get out of the comfort zone, enter the danger zone, and, uh, and take those risks. So think about that, and I'll just remind you that last quote. Without danger, there is no glory. So with that, have a great one. Remember, I've got a ton of free resources on my website that you can download immediately to start your journey, not today, but right now to financial freedom. Super excited to announce uh, my online course is now available. That has been a, I don't know how many years we've, it's taken for us to develop this course, but it is a game changer in the sense that it really gets to the core of why you're struggling financially. It's, it's unlike anything else you've seen from a financial transformation course. It's the missing link, it's the paradigm shift of what is truly needed to find everlasting uh, financial freedom and peace of mind. It's a scientifically designed process where I guide you through, I mentor, your sh mentor you through this, through a five element process that I use myself, these five elements to achieve financial freedom at a very, very young age. And when I've studied and we've studied countless uh, other individuals, successful individuals, these are the same five elements that they incorporate in their, into their life and which is why they have been able to achieve their financial freedom as well. So I encourage you to take a look at the website. Don't forget, hit that button below and subscribe and leave a comment. We'd love, love to hear from you. I'll leave you that. Say goodbye to Haspen. It's our last day and uh, we'll be back next year. Take care. Upward and onward. Bye-bye.